Hey y'all, I'm Jonah and today we're going to be talking about quality versus quantity. Which one's more important? Stick around. You were saying you want to push out a, a video every day, yes, right? How would you balance that but keep you know, your, your content interesting for your viewer? I think it totally depends upon the kind of content you do. For me, I do Photoshop videos. Secondly, as I said, my gift is teaching. So I don't have to script it out. I don't have to take a lot of takes. I know what I'm teaching and I can just start the camera, start recording and end it and just edit it throughout and finish it by the evening. I don't have to take a lot of takes. It's a Photoshop tutorial, right? It doesn't take a lot of time. So that's it for me. But if you're creating something that's going to take a while and it, it's you care about the quality, then maybe three a days, the three a week is the one for you. If you're a creative person, like a, like a traditionally trained, True. you're taught the exact opposite. It's quality over quantity. That's why when you said quantity, that's what matters to me. And it's a radically different thought than what they've been hearing. I, I'd appreciate you for saying that yeah. because there's something beautiful about that as well. So there's one thing about quantity versus quality is that quality is subjective, you know, but quantity is, it's a number. It's a number. It's like you are connecting with your audience. I'm not sh saying that make trash content, right? No, if you're using your gift, it's not going to be a trash content. Anyway, you're not going to post it. You, you want what the perfectionist in you want. will want it to be perfect. I want to share something with you guys. And I think this can help bridge what you're saying with the creative community. Some of you guys are following me on Instagram, have seen me grow really, really fast about eight to 9,000 follows a week. And the only way that I did that was because I changed my posting schedule from once every five to seven days to two times a day. And I felt See? what you feel, Tree. I felt like, what am I gonna do? Like, how can I do this? It used to take me about eight hours to make one Instagram post. It took me a long time. And I challenged myself and I challenged the, my, my group, everybody hit your goal. So my goal was to post twice a week, uh, twice a day, and at first I failed, but by day two, I started to do it. And here's the shock and surprise. What I thought was not good content was the stuff that took off. Exactly. Isn't that weird? That's that's weird. And my worst, that's what I said. Do not watch, watch my most viewed videos. They're bad. But for other people, they're not. Yes, because you're judging it based on what you know and what you've grown into. So here's the cool thing. Because I was making content so quickly, I started to learn all kinds of tricks and tips and process. And then now I'm going to teach a class on how to do this. So more opportunities have come up because I've let go of the idea that quality trumps all. Iterating, learning from your posts and, and reading the comments and engaging with the community and having that connection like you're talking about is really what made the difference. So I can totally 100% back that up. So if you guys can only take one thing from this conversation right now is to get over the idea of quality. Yes, quality will be baked in there somewhere, but we all know this. Creativity expands and contracts to meet deadlines. Give yourself a deadline. Forgive yourself if you don't make it, but try your best to hold up to that and you will be shocked at what you learn and the reaction that you get from your community. I'm glad that you said that you'll be shocked at what you learn not how many followers you get. Because I'm sure as, as a creative person, you might have observed this, that after making, let's say, 500 Instagram posts, you, my friend, are a completely different person. You are a completely different photographer or designer or whatever you do. Because if you look at a photographer 500 posts ago, you will see a drastic change in the quality of their photos. It doesn't matter how many subscribers or followers they've got, but they become better in the process. There y'all have it. Time for the recap. My first takeaway is set a deadline for a reasonable amount of output. Make the amount that's right for you. Second, quality is subjective. Let the audience decide what's good. Third, you'll learn faster by making more. You'll be even better and more efficient. What do you guys think? Do y'all agree or disagree? Let us know down in the comments below. And for the future, I'm Jonah. See you on the next one.